Ooh, Kenya, posh, clap. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, the sun energy on its face. The sun is um, big cat Leo energy, the fifth house, the house of drama.com. It's also the house of your creativity, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. The fifth house is also the house of risks, possibly an affair, a romance, whatever, maybe something sexual, darling, dear. Somebody took a risk, possibly in the, in the, um, Genitalia Watusi area, darling, dears, and it's all coming down. Oh, good golly and gosh, pleasure. Plus what? Lack of vision. All of this going on in the fifth house. Good golly and gosh. This speaks about repercussions for some actions taken. The fifth house is a fixed fire sign, darling, dears. The fixed, the fixed signs means that you have to continue to be what? Persistent in order to get to the truth of a situation. Be stubborn. When you said what you said, darling, dear, they need to come run the VT. Right, come through the intel, otherwise what? Easter Island and Stevie Wonder. You ain't got the hairline for anything else, darling dear. Nor the patience, and nor do you want to go to prison like R. Kelly. Good golly and gosh, the sun on its face. Mm. Let's back it up with a quick domino. Wow. Not only did it fall off the table, it fell onto this. Oh my God, now you're gonna see that I've got my... <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus, the devil is a liar. All right, I've got my bonnet on and I'm good. Anyhow, the energy is what? An eight, darling dear. Eight is the number of money. Skrilla.com, darling dear. It's also the number of infinite possibilities. In numerology, the eight is ruled by Saturn energy, Capricorn, darling dear. Saturn also rules um, Aquarius. It speaks about you having reached something or achieved some kind of mastery, something that someone, right? who looks like they're sucking on lemons, mate, right? Or a dog's bollocks, right? They don't like the fact they're not happy that you took a leap of faith or a risk. You use your creativities, right? Your common sense, your flip-flop, right? To get you out of a tight situation and you are excelling. They're not happy, the bad news bear, the bad boy or the bad gal, bad news bear. Can't say that. If you're drinking something, darling, you'll be spitting in somebody's face. Mm hmm Somebody wants a showdown with you because of what you've created for yourself. Lordy, 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 lordy. The numerology of the eight speaks about you being in your power, darling, dears. You are ambitious and you followed your ambitions with faith. The size of a mustard seed. Something about thighs. You've got a problem with thighs. Or they've got a, maybe they've got thunder thighs. Or you're eating a thigh. Good for you, darling, dear. But I'm, listen, I'm not going into listen. There's so many things that just ran into my mind. Dr. Sebi and inflammation and chicken. And Listen, let me just carry on with the read, yeah? yeah. All right. Before I rudely re-interrupted myself again, the number eight is the eighth planet Uranus. Uranus rules the number four and one. That's important for somebody, somebody as well as what? Sunday. Something significant is going to happen for you on a Sunday. Uranus rules Aquarius, darling. There's Aquarius, the 11th house. The 11th house of groups, darling, dears. Your social awareness, but also technology. Maybe you'll be getting a message. Something. Somebody's going to hit you up, darling, dear. This is somebody who's going to try and take you off your gangster. They don't want to see the change in your life, darling, dear. They're going to try and um, stop your stop your progress, right? They want to they want to put a stumbling block in your rebellion. Mm -hmm. Oh. A dummy bat is about to raise their ugly head. Let's get the witch's oracle wisdom and see what's going on. Give it a good shifty and wake up the deck. Oh gosh, seems like you've already seen it, darling dears. What's it? Shitaki. I didn't want it. You start speaking in Swahili. Blood, bruh, or sistrine. You don't want no surprises from nasty-minded individuals. They must stay where they are. Look. Whatever they're trying to birth, mate, you ain't, listen, you're not up for it. And your ancestors aren't up for it either. Mm -hmm. Whatever they've got lurking in, in the trenches of that, what, that, that cranium, they call a mind, darling, dear. It's, it's not working. For, oh, I forgot to tell you, look. My ring. The same ring that's been missing for months, darling, dears. I had to take my mind off of it because I love this ring so much. Mm -hmm. You know how I found it? I offered a reward. Listen, 
I got progeny living with me, darling dears. I just had to go into the go into the hallway and I said, Are you listening? Nobody answered. So I text I text them on the group message and I said, I'm offering up Skrilla for anyone that can find my ring. My pendulum says it's somewhere in my office. I was laying down in my bed, cutting my tent, minding my own business. Within 15 minutes, they Karma and more found it, darling dears. I was so glad to see it. Listen, anytime you want progeny to do what you want, turn off the Wi-Fi or offer solid money. Mm -hmm. I found my ring. <laughs> Happy days are here. Well, they was always here, darling dears. But it was, it's a regular friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Taught me two things. Number one, pay attention when you put your things down. Number two, realize that the power doesn't come from an instrument or an implement, darling dears. It's what's in you, not on you. Mm -hmm. And number three, when offering up a raw reward, don't offer outlandish amounts because you'll have to pay up. Your project will find that she's naive, darling dears. Let's split the deck. A secret. Somebody has a secret, darling dears. Maybe they're trying to control you with the secret or they're going to try and hold it back. Hence the incubation in reverse. It could be the hydation or hidation of what a pregnancy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. But it also speaks about somebody who is at a stumbling block themselves within their life. They're unable to make a true change or they don't know how to make a new life for themselves, darling dear. They want to come into your come into your hemisphere so that they can read from your script, your birth nat natal chart, darling. Listen. They want to find out how you did it so they can do it too. They're not coming to help you, darling dear. They're coming to hoodwink and take. Mm hmm what we can take and they're not coming through with the truth secrets darling dear secrets secrets yeah manifestation mode you're going to be getting a message darling dear the answers are saying they're going to evil it's either going to be by technology because uranus rules technology darling dear we already saw sunday and something to do with the fourth and the first could be your date of birth their date of birth um the month whatever it is darling dear you know your paradigm Mm-hmm. Someone wants to know how you bend the matrix and you continue to look fabulous, gorgeous and lovely because they're going through a downturn in everything. Prosperity could mean anything, darling dear. Your home life, your skrilla, your health, right? Your happiness, right? Yes, 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 yes. Nothing like someone at the bottom of the pit who put their own self in there by the choices that they made, right? While there was a whole adult, yeah, yeah. And wanting to what? Get a help, but to sit in their karma with them. Are you up for it, big cat? Do you have the time to sit with someone else's karma? These questions you must ask yourself as you massage the rosemary oil into your hairline. Don't you remember your hairline, bestie? Oi, did you forget? I didn't forget. That's what best friends are for, to remind you. That in a journal, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Someone who had to what? Hit the road like Jack. So a fiery climax is arriving. Moon energy on the base of the deck. This speaks about a fake friend, fake enemy. Somebody trying to illuminate you to a circumstance of a situation. But we already know that there'll be what lying? There'll be effing lying, blood. They'll be lying. <laughs> oh, child. They'll be the what? The keeper of the ginger vitus, darling dear, with the lies. The subterfuge and bull swanky. Moon energy is um, cancer as well as Pisces energy. The moon also rules the mother, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The mother energy. Okay. So it could be a feminine energy, mother energy. I told you about a pregnancy. Maybe they're going to keep hidden. Or a family that's already started. Maybe the baby has been born. They've slapped that naked bambino on its bottom, darling dear. Whatever it is. There's something to do with a family dynamic, darling dear, that they're trying to keep secret. Possibly of what went down. Maybe they were, they, they didn't choose to leave a domicile of their own free will. Or did they jump or was they pushed? These questions, darling dear, is none of your business. They want you to be focused on their she's naive. Take you off your gangster while they thievery. Be careful of leaving your, your personal email, whatever it is, open, darling dears, communication and all that. Because hoodwinkers, thieves and liars are afoot. I don't care if you cry, I don't care. They'll take it from you and copyright it before you can say, what's going on? Mm -mm. I'm not telling you to be untrustworthy of everyone, but good God, big cat. 
we've gone through our formal training. We did the, we did what bad archery with the DNS had to look over my right shoulder. Why? Because I'm the red light, green light champion, darling dear. As are you, bestie, by proxy. Why? Because we're besties. Pinkies are outrageous. Mmm. So somebody wants to fool you about their health, their home life, their job, their work, their relationships. Pentecalles brings everything into mind. It's tangible things you can touch and feel. Mm -hmm. So why is the spotlight on the big cat who's minding their own business and getting great? King of Cups, somebody wants your loyalty, darling dears. Yep, someone who is an effing liar. Listen. <laughs> Their lies, right, are so big that they've got what? A legion of them, darling dear. This is a liar. Air energy communication is going to be for gazy, right? Bombastic major side eye, darling dears. Even the king of cups is saying, why is that card next to me? I'm peaceful, right? I know how to manage my emotions. Somebody wants to take you off your trolley. They want you to be nervous about, what did I say? They're going to be charming, darling dear. They're probably going to say that you are the best thing since sliced bread, right? They'll be lying. And unfortunately for you and I, their pants won't catch on fire. I can see Libra energy as well as Scorpio energy out here, darling dears. Scorpio is, is I desire, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Libra energy, darling dears, is I balance. So somebody wants to create some kind of equilibrium between, between you and them. Or you and, was it them and, was it... The and they. They or the, the, they. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's move on quickly, right? They want to come and tell you something. Two cup, two of cups. They want you to, 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 to choose the situation. They want you to think that they're balanced emotionally, darling dears, which will be a lie. Queen of Pentacle is on his face, but listen, there's people involved in it. People know that this person is broke pocket is a liar, disloyal. This could also be an ex-partner, ex-husband, ex-wife. Listen, ex-friend, ex-cousin, whatever, something tangible, some relationship that you had in high accolade, darling dear. This person is disloyal, darling dear. And they come with the bad advice, the bad intentions, and possibly even the bad credit. Base of the deck, darling dear. You better put your shiznai on lockdown and get your third eye on all mitches and bitches. We are on what? Amber Alert! It won't go to a red alert. Why? Because you're about to nip it in the bud, big cat, using your third eye. Your loyalty, your nurturing, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about, for others, you're going to be meeting a romantic partner tomorrow, darling dears. Could be, yeah, romantic, darling dear. King and Queen of Cups in the upright, Knight of Cups. This could be through um, a party, some kind of invitation to, or even go on the way to work because the cups, darling dear, they're established in their, in their, in their careers, in their life, darling dear. This person you will be meeting tomorrow, somebody that's going to be beneficial to you, darling dears. It's going to be a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be extremely good news, darling dear, for you. It's a good move. But not from anyone from the past that's going for it. Especially if their initial is an S or they're born in the year of 76, 77, 78 or 79. They come with the soul. Does it suck to fusion the bull swanky? A big cup of opium for a dummy bat. I didn't call you a dummy bat, big cat. I didn't say it. I didn't even think it. Because I know it's not you. You can't be a dummy bat if we are besties. What area of your life is calling for a rebellion? rebellion? Moon energy, fake friends, darling dears. People that try to ride on your emotions, ride roughshod all over it, darling dear. People that want to come through and manipulate your emotions, okay? For others, this is about you listening and believing in your intuition. Because how you manifest and co-create, darling dear, is based in your belief. This is about you focusing your intentions in order to move forward in your life. Yes, the spotlight will be on you, darling dear. You are extremely mysterious, highly intuitive. Mm -hmm. The magician is uh, Mercury energy. Mercury also is the rule of short journeys, darling dears. Some of you are going to be rebelling about taking a journey, going to visit somewhere. 
You're going to be drawing that card to get you out of a situation, darling. There's something that you're not happy to be attending. Yeah, because it's full of misery, right? Of misery, miserable people, right? People that drain on your energies. Yeah, you're going to be exiting out of that, darling, dear. You're saying no, pushing yourself away from the table. But then again, as I said, you also have the light shining on you of the two of cups, darling, dears. When you, this person, these dark natured people, these creatures from the backwoods with yarn for hair are unmasked as they try to approach you with fogazi, darling dears, you're going to realize that the two of cups that you've co-created by yourself is better than anything they could offer. Why? They come with what consequences? Lies, subterfuge and secrets. Secrets. Their secrets have secrets. Yep. And they have no intention of telling any form of truth, darling dears. This person is emotionally cold. They've got no true emotion for you. Six of Swords, this is about keeping your mind free and moving on from the situation. Not giving back any form of communication or contact to this person because they're toxic, darling dear. Possibly in a throuple that is toxic. Yeah. But they're also cheating with many people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the best next step for the big cat? With all of this coming down on you, darling, they're all being around you. What's the best next step? Page of Cups. You don't want no apology uh, apology from anyone from the past. Someone who's emotionally manipulative and a skin peeling liar. Right? The best next step is to avoid a liar. I can't even make it up. Eight of Cups, avoid a liar. Right? Listen to your intuition and your instincts, darling. This, especially if you've been down that rodeo with them before. Right? Keep it what? Keep it clocking, darling, dear. Clocking means going. Keep it going, darling, dear. Keep it moving. You are successful. You tap into your internal warrior. You are on a path for success at this moment in time. This one tried to come out. This person will what? Put a spanner in your works. And it will also what? Invite their karma to come and stare at your house with you, darling, dear. And look what will happen. You'll lose your confidence, your health, Maybe even your home, darling, dear. You won't have any stability because this person is a liar. This person will use their insecurities, their immature emotionally, darling, dear, to break you down. Bobby Brown, good golly and gosh. Lies. The lies they will be telling you, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. This person is a cheater. It's because of your security. This is why they would like to pop back into your life. You hold the biggest pentacle of it all. Your health, your common sense, which is your flip-flop, and your job, home, car, career, whatever it is for you. It could be um, higher learning, whatever you've achieved, darling dears. They didn't expect you to do this. This is why you're under the spotlight, and they want to get into your pantaloons. They want to give you a quick shifty, darling dear. Mm -hmm. And some of them can't even fulfill that in the boudoir. They're, listen, their shit ain't working, blood. <laughs> Good child. I'm telling you, big cat. So there's going to be a, a, a showdown, is there? Okay. Let's give this a quick shuffle before we shuffle them together. So this showdown, this showdown, right? This fiery showdown that's bound to be unleashed. Tell us more about this showdown so we can all laugh. Because <laughs> they don't know who they're dealing with. This liar and cheat. I can't make it up. Somebody wants to come and tell you a lie, darling, dear. This is someone living in the consequences of their actions. They're looking over their shoulder. They had the grasses greener syndrome. Mm -hmm. A full on blessing blocker, high commander Decepticon. This also speaks about um, someone who avoids responsibility, darling, dear. And a gaslighter to boot. Woo, child. What's this? You better pay attention, darling dear. And don't take the blue pill. Don't let them rock you to sleep, darling dear. Because right now, if you allow them to make you go to sleep, you'll go straight into what? Purgatory, darling dears. Unable to get away from the addictive behavior, darling dears. Passive aggressive. You think you're free, but you're not. You'll be inviting that karma to be with you. I told you, you'll get it quick. Quick. Karma's not gonna jump, darling dear. If you if you listen to what they're banding around, which is what? Rubbish, foolishness, right? 
What did I just say? Judgment on his face. A circumstance and situation that will come upon you quickly, but you won't be able to free yourself, darling dear. You will be sticking your two fingers up at the fresh start you've created for yourself, right? And it will be right now in the upright night of Pentecalis' slow coming. No blood. It will be swift. This karma. Justice on its face. Leave the judgment. No blood. You've got to leave the lying lies where they are. So if, what kind of showdown could they bring on? They've got so much shit on them at this moment in time. You know what I mean? They can't do you a damn thing, darling dear. You're not into listening. Listen, if you look at you holding your head, right? I, you're not even just holding your head. You're, you're feeling for your hairline, blood. You remember what they did with the last time they came around? This manipulating marauder. You've built a new you. You use that two of cups, darling dears, to drink of self-love and self-care. Right? And they chose what they chose. They did what they did, right? And you did and you did what you did. You got out of the way. You did. You saw how they moved. Knight of Cups, cups to all and sundry, right? That you don't even know about. So there's if it was a relationship, there's bodies that you don't even know about, darling dears. There was always a woodwinker, a con person, page of cups, confirmation in the upright. I was just asking, so what can this liar, what kind of showdown do they think, they thunk, they can what bring to the domicile of the, of the arm, um, backyard, or try to get you over technology? Two of cups, they want to come in peace, darling dears. They want a new beginning. They want to turn back. They no longer want to have the short stick. They want to come out of the cold. Five of Pentacles. They haven't got any money. They may even ask you for a loan. Page of Swords. Page, I said Swords. Page of Swords is spying, darling dear. Freud and Slip meant to come out. Page of Wands, darling dears. It's the truth. Some of them may even dare have the effrontery to come and ask you for some money. Oh, listen. I can't make it up. They want to come and ask you for some money. Right? After they spent their money amongst what? Tree sloth, darling dear. With algae in their fur, right? They're not happy in situations where they are because none of them could make one of you. That's why the heat is on you, darling dear. That's why they're putting their eye of saron on you. Not only that, some of you give physical, sexual healing, darling dear. Your embrace. They want to come around you so that they can heal. Heal and what happens after they finish healing? They're out, mate. They're out. Their body will still be there. They'll be emotionally abusive to you, darling dears. Gaslighting, keeping you there, right? Like a, a cat mousing play, and playing with a mouse, darling dears. They'll keep you there. Breadcrumbing you just enough, darling dear, to keep you stuck. And this is physical abuse as well, darling dears, that they'll bring back to the table. This person is bitter because you left the situation. Personal people. Mm -hmm. Them can't do you nothing. Them can't do you nothing. Them can't tell you nothing. So what's the matter with them? Can't they keep the communicative dance out of the perimeter? Police. There's nothing that they can do for you, darling dears. How do you feel about the revisitation of the wicked? Who breadcrumbed you in the past, darling dear? Only gave you so much. You've already mentally freed yourself from that situation, Aquarius. Energy, you've moved on, right? And you're not sowing seeds with the wicked. You're thinking about the mental, financial, physical loss that you lost in a situation. And you're not heartbroken over them. You've gotten over their betrayal. You've given it to God. I told you they're beefing with God. Not you, big cat. Not you, right? Tenth cup in the reverse. They've got the karma on them because of the choices they made. This right on that, this con person, hoodwinker, darling dears, they've done this many times to many people. So just imagine how many soul tears they've got. Soul tears. You know them tears you cry from your soul? Now it's got me sucking my 31 teeth. What was hiding behind that? You've healed from that, darling dear. Why would you want to invite it back to where you are? Single as fuck, darling dear. Watching your own grass grow exactly how you want it to grow, darling dears. This is being drama free, flip flop on, moving forward. 
face of the deck. They've been with many darling dears, many that are not spiritually protected. This is Jezebel spirits meeting Ikubai and Succubai, darling dears. Poor child. Mm. And they've got bad luck and karma on them. This it's going to have me foaming at the mouth. They feel as though they've got unfinished business with you. World card on its face. But they're a slippery slope to hell, darling dear. You'll be right back in the mud hut, darling dears. And it won't be easy to get away from them. Single as fuck, they see that you have... Even your health is better. You, they see that you are happy, happy single. Do you know how many people can't be happy single? Hmm. They ain't got unfinished business with who? They're beefing with God, blood. It's not you. It's not you, big guy. They got the wrong person. Mm-hmm. Let's get my deck of the wicked. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The elastic band broke. So you have no ties with this person. Or oh, people, it's over. Finito. What's this? They're only happy in pictures, right? They need constant validation. They're fool's gold, fresh shit, shining in the sunlight. I secretly hate my mother and all females. You really want that? that well, what's that? Misandrist? Do you really want them around? Misogynist? You don't want them around. I hate their children. If they're with somebody, they don't like the person's children. They hate them. Mm. And they've got an STD, or maybe they see you as an STD. You're like, big cat, what? Yeah, they see you as something to do. Something to be played with. Fooled around with, big cat. Pulled about. They want you screaming in the streets looking like Quasimodo's bestie, Sagittarius Energy, the only weaponized zodiac sign. You better get philosophical, darling dear, and keep it popping. Sagittarius loves to travel. Keep it moving, or tell them to keep it moving. They're a little finger, right? They will be the snake in your boot. Come through. Toy Story. Push. Clap. Listen. You already told them already once. Right, and you will have to tell them again to get the black bags, get out, right, piss off, right, mm -hmm. and kick rocks. You'll have to tell them again, but we saw the tower in reverse, it'd be very hard, it'd be like trying to remove skin, your own skin, with no anesthetic, darling, then you've got to do it yourself in five minutes. No, I'm like, it'd be very hard to get rid of them, right, because they're what, a Klingon, they're like a leech. A full-on hobo sexual, once they get their claws in, right? Time to toe tag the pain, right? You're a natural healer, right? They want you to heal their codependent ways. Listen, you've already found your Chiron. You utilize that to use you. Everybody's got their own Chiron, right? And placement in their own birth natal chart. They need to go and find their own healing blood. Do one. Mm -hmm. Don't trust them. <laughs> Jean trust him. <laughs> and who's over there with them want to be you? Because they don't know how to get away with this misandrous. Mm -hmm. Yes, big cat. You need to go. You are he or she for whom the sun rises. Make sure you use that affirmation to tell yourself that regular as you continue to hot trot towards whatever you want as long as it's in the opposite direction of these ones that want a fiery showdown with you, darling dear. The only thing that they're going to unleash on you is a share in their karma. I don't even want to thunk on these people, darling dear. Mm -mm, busy getting great. Let's get the moon. Moonology. What's this? Look, it came out in the reverse. No road, new romantic cycle. It's over. New moon in Libra. On its face, the seventh house, darling, is of partnerships. It's over. Let it be done and dusted, darling, dears. The seventh house is also what? Um, the house of open enemies. It's in the reverse. This is somebody who will come as a mask wearing marauder. And don't let pride get in your way. Listen, there's no pride in that situation. Full moon in Leo. This person comes with drama. This is somebody who had an affair on you, darling. They are cheating, cheetara, right? Your dreams need to be practical as well as your life, Taurus energy, blood. Mm-hmm. What's trying to peep out? Nothing will come of this situation and continue to hold your vision, blood. <laughs> Listen, listen, 
They can't say, listen, Linda, Linda, listen. That bird flew too fast past their nest, right? Sigmund, Sigmund Freud said, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, darling, dear, that's the, the epitome of madness and getting the same results. Listen, time to what? Continue to flip the script, darling, dear. You've already done what? What you was meant to do, darling, dear. The assignment to free yourself from all of these controlling situations that wasn't for your well-being. The spotlight's on you because it has to be, darling, dear. Breaker of generational curses. Leader of any pack. And in some cases, your pack is a pack of one. I, myself, and me. Many people can't do what you did, big cat. You came back from the DNS. I had to look over my shoulder. And you're not barking at passing cars. You're not dressing like Quasimodo's bestie. And you're sure as she's naive. Is not burning a candle for anyone from the past. But they haven't forgotten you, darling, dear. Don't give them any energy, not even a second thought. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat way. Until we meet again. On these narrow streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.